Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan and today I just wanted to quickly go over the Resident Evil 4 remake trailer. I am <laughs> super excited, just like everybody else is right now, right? There's a big hype going on for the remake and it's pretty cool that they, we're just going to be getting it next year. A lot of people are complaining, ah, oh, next year, but like that's really not that far away. It's March 24th of next year, of 2023, so, you know, that's we're already getting really close to it um I, I thought i had to wait forever to get the new scream 5 right to come out after scream 4 but that's already passed and now we're getting scream 6 but anyways movies is for a whole another time um i'm super excited for this game i know growing up early in the 2000s i got to experience resident evil and resident evil um 4 was actually the first resident evil game i played um you know, as a kid, games are scarier than they are, of course, now, but uh, this is one of the first, like, horror video games I actually played through and went through, and I had this game for the GameCube, me and my brother had this game for the Wii, we had this game for the PlayStation, I remember I bought it on Steam later on, years when I became an adult, and then also the HD remake on Steam, and, and then this game has been ported to so many different consoles, even the iPhone got a Resident Evil 4 game <laughs> uh, which I never got to play but I heard it was terrible and but it's just it's just cool to see that there's such a game that's so iconic that it's so loved by the gaming community that it's been ported to basically everything and that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and go through the trailer and we'll kind of break things down as we go through it <laughs> Beautiful, by the way. Uh, graphics look super nice. here I can see that uh, Leon looks a lot like his former self in the Resident Evil 2 remake so that's pretty cool that they're going with that model uh, another thing here is we can see him getting a brief rundown from the president of the United States obviously we're going to go you know help get Ashley back which is the president's daughter you know we didn't really get too much uh, we didn't really get any involvement from the president in the original Resident Evil 4 so it's cool that they're bringing a lot more detail to that in the new remake. Um, I, don't, I don't know how much involvement we're going to have with the White House, but I do know that seeing from here, it looks like a tr it looks like a cutscene for me. You know, are we going to get maybe some sort of um, introduction, kind of like a boot camp type thing to teach you how to play the game in the beginning for newer players? Uh, probably not, but you know, um, you just never know. You know, I, I don't know what they're going to be doing with. Uh, the White House, but uh, maybe not anything. But like I said, this is probably just a flashback cutscene or something as Leon's driving and um, or he's in the car with the two soldiers or whatever that were carrying him to the uh, the place he needs to go. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool to see that they're doing a lot more involvement with the the president. Uh, just stopping right here, it's really cool to see the new Ashley model. Um, it was just looking at the game, the, it just looks amazing already. The graphics, the RE engine just looks incredible. And um, I'm super excited because I know how beautiful Village looked. And already from watching the trailer, I can tell this game's going to look awesome on newer consoles and PC. And it's going to be really cool. So I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I like the new the new Ashley look. She definitely looks a little older than before. You know, she looked like a young teen in the original, so they're definitely making her um, a lot younger woman in this. Uh, sorry, a lot older woman in this, but not like super old to wear. But she does look like she may be between maybe 28, 30. Um, you know, I could be wrong, but it looks like they are making her a lot older in this game. <laughs> I just want to pause it right here real quick. Um, you can see that there's a dead carcass animal. Animal carcass or whatever you want to say. 
Uh, you can definitely tell they're definitely going with a lot more horror aspect for this game than they did the original. I mean, the original had horror, but it also had that action. So I'm praying that they don't butcher the game with too much action like they did with Resident Evil 6. But I do like the mix-up and combination between the Resident Evil 6 kind of Resident Evil 7 horror vibe. And I kind of really pray they balance that out because... I know this game is being developed by the Resident Evil 2 remake team, which is Team 1 from Capcom, not the Team 2 who did Resident Evil 3, thank God, uh, And because uh, there was a lot of, you know, bad reception with that game, so I'm really glad that they're, I'm really glad they're bringing back the Resident Evil Team 1 to remake this and not Team 2 who worked on the Resident Evil 3 remake. <laughs> Uh, also right here, you can kind of see this kind of resemblance of Ethan, right, um, in Resident Evil Village. When Ethan, the first time you actually walk into um, that dark woods and you finally get into the village and then everything lights up and you get that really cool scene of the castle and the village and it's snowing. and So this is kind of that same resemblance here. So I really like the, like I said before, the horror aspect that they're bringing to this game. It's cool to see the iconic birds back. Uh, for those of you who have maybe never played the original Resident Evil 4 or any Resident Evil game, if that uh, in Resident Evil 4 there was birds in the tree, and you might say, well, okay, what's so special about birds? Well, if you shot them, they actually gave you really good uh, random loot. Uh, sometimes they would drop grenades. Sometimes they would drop gold. Sometimes they would drop uh, incendiary grenades or flashbang or whatever but they always drop pretty good items and it's pretty cool to see these back i'm assuming that if you shoot them they're probably going to drop loot again just for that little easter egg and little nod to the original so i guess we'll see though but it's cool to see the the birds back now this is a cool shot uh this is the first house you come up to which that's what everybody else is assuming as well, but I'm assuming this is the first iconic house that you come up to in the beginning of Resident Evil 4 with the guy near the fireplace. Um, you can see over here, down here, they actually have kind of a uh, foreshadowing of the weapons that the villagers are going to use to attack you. You know, we have a meat cleaver here. We look, we, we kind of have like a spear or shovel or something going on here. We got a pickaxe or an axe going on. Oh, no, sorry, that's a shovel. Um, and then we got some sort of weapon here and then uh, the bear trap that's funny that's a good callback um, if you remember in the beginning of Resident Evil 4 you could either uh, spoilers for anybody who's never played it uh, you can either choose to save the dog in the beginning or don't save him and if you don't save him you're just mean um, but if you save him he actually helps you with a um, one of those giant I don't remember what you call him, but uh, one of the there's a boss fight, and he jumps in and actually attacks the giant and helps you, and it just distracts him or helps you basically take him down. So it's pretty cool. That's a cool thing that they added that in. That's one thing that I noticed when I first saw the trailer. This is a really cool shot. Uh, this is the iconic village that you come across in Resident Evil 4 that... Where in the middle of the bonfire, you know, you have that soldier, or whatever guy, he's actually burning, and it looks really uh, resemblant to the original. Uh, they actually did a really good job of keeping that vibe to it, with keeping the. Um, but it looks like some of the stuff is more open uh, than the original Resident Evil 4. Uh, you can see like this barn has opened up, but originally it wasn't. And unless I'm looking at a wrong shot, but it's pretty cool to see the original. Uh, if you compare it with the original, it's cool to see that side by side. Guess you, me, picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? And then we have iconic Lewis. He's gonna be back, so it's cool to see Luis uh, making his return with the Red Nine gun, the famous Red Nine gun. And um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're gonna make him look a lot like the same, but I guess we'll see. Wow. Man, just the graphic details they have uh, with the first uh, villager you run into in that first house. It's pretty cool to see how he's changed, and it's pretty amazing what the details they can have on these villagers. I can tell these villagers are going to be a lot more scary. You know, it's amazing to me the advance in technology that we've had in the past years with video games, and especially horror games, because they can make games look so scary nowadays. 
and uh, it's definitely going to be terrifying. I'm already getting nervous playing, going to be playing this game. <laughs> Uh, but I love the Resident Evil franchise, and I'm super excited to go through it. I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering this uh, when I get a chance. But uh, just the detail on this guy with the beard and his eyes, and I don't know, it's pretty cool to see uh, these villagers come to life. Right here, we get a shot of the... We can kind of back it up just a little bit. We get a first shot of the castle. Uh, you can see the... Um, Oh, wow, that's pretty awesome, like the temple dwellers that dwell in the castle. And, uh, you know, I, I know the castle was probably one of the scariest other than the regenerators. <laughs> uh, the castle was definitely a terrifying place for me as a kid. I hated going through the castle because it was just, so you know, very medieval and you never know what was around every corner. And so it was just, it was creepy to go through here and to meet all the, but, you know, one thing that's going to be terrifying is these narrow corridors that you're going to have to walk through to kill some of these enemies because I know for a fact that when you walk through some of these 100% they're going to ambush you and there's going to be people coming from behind you there's going to be people coming in front of you and it's just going to get it's going to get crazy so You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Ooh, it's going to be amazing. Um, I, I, I can't wait. I know a lot of you can't wait, and I know it's going to be awesome. If I could just forget what happened that night. Pain, even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. That's cool that uh, there's the iconic shot of Leon walking up to the village. You know, and the thing he says, you know, it has to be different. Um, I, I wonder if that's just a nod to the remake of, you know, of going back to the original game that the game's going to be changed. You know, I, I don't know what kind of story they're going to be telling with the remake. Obviously, Ashley's there. You're going to have to go recapture her. You know, I don't know how much more involvement the um, Dronados are going to have with the president. You know, there might be a lot more story this time around where it shows a lot more backstory of how she ended up there and, you know, who took her and all that. So I'm sure we're going to play a lot more of Ashley's story. But uh, I wonder if also Leon is going to have a lot more like PTSD in this game because of the events that happened in Resident Evil 2. So I'm assuming that he's definitely going to have flashbacks and struggling with, you know, um, different things that he dealt with in Raccoon City. But uh, you can see here, too, that the iconic jacket is back, too, but it's a little different. They're using an older beta version of the jacket, uh, for those of you that didn't know um there was a beta uh resident Evil 4 went through a lot of different stages of change and one of the betas that was actually for resident Evil 4 um had the iconic hook man and uh in that beta version there was more of this jacket in there so it's cool that they're actually paying a nod back to the original betas that uh, people have leaked online and uh have shown gameplay and stuff of that so it's pretty cool and also with ashley ashley it looks like a lot more beta version of ashley as well so So there we have it. Um, PlayStation VR 2 content also in development. So that's going to be cool. They're going to be bringing this remake to the VR 2. I know they also announced during the state of play the Resident Evil VR. So I haven't got my hands on a VR yet. I still would like to, but um, just wanted to spend money on other stuff at the moment. But it would be fun to get a VR eventually. So maybe we'll have to wait to get a VR 2. Uh, that would be cool to get a PlayStation 5 eventually. But anyways, yeah, this is just kind of like my breakdown of the Resident Evil 4 remake trailer. Uh, let me know your comments about the game. Uh, let me know if you um, agreed with what I said and, you know, if you want to tell me some stuff I might have missed or didn't go over. I know I kind of skipped over some of the last stuff, but that's okay. Uh, maybe we can tag on another time. I, I know coming up, we would definitely want to do a podcast on this and uh, I'll kind of have a couple of um, my other buddies on there and 
and we'll talk about this game and talk about Diablo Immortal. So that's going to be cool because we've been going through that. But anyways, guys, uh, if you haven't, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, thank you. We'll see you guys at the next video.